I'm connecting to the air, to the soil, to the trees, to the water, to everything. Yes. And they are all giving me information. And they are connected through each other all the world around. Yes. So they are giving information to each other and I can tap into that information. What is going on on Earth right now? What is going on with humanity right now? Yes. And they are giving that in information. Yeah. They are giving it to the one who take the time to listen. Yes. So that is where I get my information. And I also, of course, tap into inner Earth and I tap up to the universe. Yes. And I always do it through my own, own soul string. Yeah. So I get information through my soul. That was something and I wanted to say also that uh, we are we are all connected, but the society and the tree or, or this density that we are living is trying to uh, make us as a singular being, and we are not. We are all connected with it, as you say, the water, the earth, the trees, the birds, whatever. And uh, I usually take a example that if you imagine that you have a silver string from yourself to everyone else to everything else uh, and that our energy flow into that string yes. uh, and everyone can tap into that and that will really make us happy so yes, yes. sorry sorry to interrupt no you. no <laughs> yes. i love to listen to you Lasse, so that's okay <laughs> <laughs> no uh What's going on in the world right now, as I see it through my eyes, yeah. is that I see a lot of, uh, and now I see things from a higher state of consciousness. Yes. That's where I'm talking now. I see that humanity uh, as a whole are kind of put into different levels. We have all the, uh, what we like to call light, uh, light bringers or light workers. Yes that are working on, to be honest, out of different levels of consciousness. Yes. And some of the light workers are fighting a little bit <laughs> among mm. themselves. Yes. And then some of the light workers are fighting a little bit with the uh, human humans that are put into this definition as conspiracy theorists. Yes. The, the, that's, yeah, I think, Theory, I think yes. Terrorist, te <laughs> not terrorist, but... <laughs> yeah, in a way, yeah. you're right. Theory, no. yeah. Uh, and you have, you have uh, all the politicians, you have, you, know, you have all these different kinds of definitions of humans right now. Yeah. And what I see, I mean, you don't need to go further than to Facebook, actually, to see how much people are fighting with yeah. each other about what is right. And yeah. I'm... I have come in a much higher consciousness than you. People don't say it right out, but uh -huh. to be honest, if you read between the lines, that is actually what people are saying. Yes. And they are fighting about it. Yes. And um, it's all good. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's part of the it's part of the higher plan because everything that is truth shall become more truth at the moment, and everything that is not truth shall be less truth at the moment yes so everything is going to be brought up into the light into yes. the daylight yeah put, on, put on the table to put on the table yes. and people don't need to be scared because we just need to start maybe look a little bit more inside inside ourselves yeah and become more peaceful peaceful with ourselves yes and start getting balance in our emotions because our emotion we have always had emotion and even as soul we have emotion because it is really, a, if you want to use the word God, it is a God gift. It is a gift from the source. The yes. emotion yes. is a gift from the source. Yeah. So we have to get in balance with our emotion because the dark side and the light side, the good side or the bad side, yeah. or the negative emotion or the good emotion, all of this. Yeah. It's just definitions yes. and we need to get balance in them and that is when we are starting to becoming gods, yes. divine creatures on yes. this planet. Yes. And that is what's happening right now. Humanity yes. is starting to yeah. really going all these different levels into a higher consciousness. Yes. And people don't need to worry about this planet because this planet is going to survive no matter what. Yeah, yeah. What people have, if they should use any worry, 
about anything or that's not that's not real for today but maybe 10 years ago when people really started to worry about the environment and the planet and so yeah well the real danger was actually humanity yes because if anything would have died here it would be the race of humanity yeah the planet the, will live on. The, the Earth can shake us off like a flea on a dog. Yes, so absolutely. The, the planet we do just fine. Yeah. And of course, we have to think about what we're doing also because it's uh, uh, harmful for people to put all these uh, uh, chemicals out there, not only for the planet, but for the people. So, yes, definitely. And I, I want to put in a little thing here. When we talk about soul, there are these religious uh, uh, entities, <laughs> if I can say yeah. so, that have another definition of what we call a soul, because soul for us is something that are created and we are souls. But they, in the religious society, they see souls as something owned by God. And mm. for me, that is wrong because we are gods. We are the one that create everything. Mm. And uh, many of us have already uh, gone into the fifth dimension here on Earth, fourth dimension, and many are still uh, in 3D. And we, we, my feeling is that I want to help those people to transcend to uh, higher awareness. And, uh, and in a way, we do that work, <laughs> both you and me, uh, in a different way, maybe. But anyway, so yeah, people have to understand that you have all the knowledge inside, you have all what you need inside, and you can manifest whatever you want. And if you want to manifest something negative, you do that very quickly. But if you want to change it, you just have to be aware of where your thoughts and action are all the time. So, yes. yes. Sorry. You see, <laughs> no, no, don't be sorry. No, but I, I interrupted you, but I thought <laughs> no, it was important not. to make the difference between a religious soul and a real soul, because yes. religion is just another entity that is controlling us. Yes, it yes. is. Yes. And that, um, I yeah. so agree with you. Yeah. I, I agree. And, um, you know, that's why I do this, God. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because yeah. it's like, yeah. Yes. I don't know if uh, Americans or, uh, but in Norway we like, it's like when we do this, it's like, yeah, right, no, yeah. No, not uh, so, <laughs> not uh, so. We, we don't mean God as, no, uh, as no. a person on a cloud um, with a big beard. No, no <laughs> it's, an, it's an energy, it's, yes, it's an love, energy. yes. Um, I'm, I'm actually writing a lot about this in my book about religions and about this, uh, definition God uh, yes. and about the source and about the soul spark and the soul strings and everything. And I don't want to uh, put my beliefs over people because people no. have to uh, choose themselves. Yes. yes yeah. Seek for themselves. Yeah. That's why I'm calling my book through my eyes. Yes. And I'm saying it many, many times in, in my book that this is how I have experienced it. Yes. And this is how I, share it and yes. love it or hate it, <laughs> do yeah. what you want. Yeah, it's important because we are individual souls, but yeah. we have a collective uh, collective uh, responsibility also and, and a collective connection. We are not singular, but we are uh, sing singular souls with our own purpose and methods. So yes. I, I always say that what I bring out there for an, anyone there out on YouTube, don't believe a word I say. Uh, take in what you feel resonate with you and start to analyze it with your feeling, not with your brain, with your feelings and your intuition. Because as soon as you connect with the brain, the brain shatters start and you are going to be deceived <laughs> by yourself. So, okay. yeah. So okay. use the method of meditation or whatever you feel is right. Maybe you sit by the seaside for an hour, look at the sea. Mm -hmm. uh, but one thing that I found is very important it, is to be quiet and quiet down the brain chatter that is going on because it's constant, constant chatter in our... I don't have to forget to, to go to the shop. I need to fill the gas on the car, blah, 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 all the time. And we need to quiet that down. Yes, <laughs> it's true. Yeah. And 
and and and the worst way of trying to quiet down because that shattering is part of the program. Yes. And and the worst thing we can do uh, is to <laughs> say that well I'm going to meditate now and I'm going to quiet my mind. I'm going to quiet my mind. I'm going to quiet, and you but just you know. Yeah. Yeah. It's just don't think so much about it. To be honest, just yes. w go out in nature, and the yeah. nature will do the work for you. Because yeah, exactly, just start every day. Yeah. Take uh, take maybe fifteen minutes, thirty minutes, and then after you get uh, you know you kind of get uh, catch your breath and you become a little bit more healthier and you can walk longer. Just com continue walking, yeah. and suddenly you will just feel so peaceful. Yeah. Because it just the nature will just heal you. Yeah, and you're starting so, hearing your true inner self also. Yes. Yes. And exactly. when when the I say that the only thing that never lies to you is your intuition if you listen to it because uh, that is our connection with each other, our intuition. Uh, it's the love connection, and many of us say, "Oh, I just imagine things and so on." Don't think that way. Listen to it and and take it in, and it will find a place in in you if it's really for you. It will find a place in you. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yes, it will. Yeah. So, when um, do you think your your book is coming out? Oh, I ho I was actually. Um, Talking with a publisher yesterday. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so um, it would be really good if it could have come out yesterday. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I would like but that too. But <laughs> I have I have to give myself a couple of months yes. uh, months to finish yeah. to finish completely, and I also need to work a little bit. Uh, on uh, my personal life right now because it's a little yes. bit upside down yes and uh, when everything is in peace and balance then i think the book is ready to get out yeah. so, so and we I, can I, maybe expect it sometime this year anyway i Ho hope hopefully. so but yes. uh, some I, my intuition is kind of telling me springtime so yeah, okay. 2017 yeah so but i will be uh, as soon as my the home page is open. I will be sharing a lot of blogs there yeah. and I will kind of share a lot of uh, the journey with the book. So yeah. it's a possibility to already start to read a little bit about it there, then. Yeah. Um, uh, it will not be a big book because no, no. I try I try to be a little bit right on point. Yes. And I think it's... Uh, I actually think it's better with a little book than yes. a huge one. Yes. So, uh, I mean, we don't need to put all that shatter inside of the book. So. No, no, no. It's <laughs> enough going on I in our brain. Try not to do it anyway. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to read that. Yeah. yeah. And um, I heard also that, uh, oh, I can say also that your, our, your uh, website is soon coming up, but you're also going to start up a YouTube channel. Uh, Yes, I think so because yes. I have this uh, this uh, light language, as we like to call it. Yes, uh, I have three different light language. Uh, well, actually four, since the one that came out in the <laughs> deep yes. meditation with you, I have not heard that before. So mm. um, it was very it was very different from the others. I think yes. that is more smooth and yes. calm and. Yes. It was it was like a, 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 a angry wife standing there and yelling. Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> yeah, but it was very intensive. Yeah, it was. It was intensive. Yes, but I don't didn't feel didn't feel any anger or hostility. No. You know. no. And it, it was for uh, waking up people. Uh, so sometimes you have to be a bit loud for yeah. people to listen. Yeah, when you <laughs> say to your children, "Don't jump in the bed." <laughs> yes. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my, my children can jump in the bed as much as they Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but if they don't allow to. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And it depends on my, my, my youngest is 34. I don't want them to jump in. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I understand that. <laughs> yeah, yeah oh. lovely. But uh, that is it's for the future, I guess. But you, you, you have this thought of uh, posting 
thing on YouTube, and I think it's a lovely way to yes. reach out to people also. So I do that. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, what what is so children children in these times are very dear to me. Yes. Because there are so many children in this world today that are so misunderstood. Yeah, exactly. And uh, and even grown up children, because many yeah. grown ups today are still children in the sense of a human being, child. Yes. yes. And um, I think it's so important to be there and support them and not to convince them of something, and not throwing, you know, not not shuffling down something on them like. Yeah. Like all the rel religions in the world, they are shuffling down on us, yes. and they are just part of programs anyway. Yeah, they, co know? they come even uh, knock on the door on Sunday morning. Yeah, yeah, and uh, and I know that the people that are doing that are doing it from what they think is, you know, the right thing. Yeah, the right thing from yeah. the heart. Yeah, but um, well, I'm not going into the religion right now, but. Oh. The children are very near and dear to me, and just to be brave enough, I think, yes. to, in a little country as Norway is, because Norway is a little country compared to the rest of the world, <laughs> and uh, in Norway uh, we have this, uh, this um, kind of thinking that you shouldn't think you are better than anyone else, Yes, kind of. Way and as we have here in Sweden, Jante, uh, yes, Jante, um, Jante law, yeah, yes, Jante law. I call it Jante law, and uh, I think it's. Uh, I, I actually think that I'm brave to be uh, a woman in Norway today to stand up and going up with my face and my name and saying that you know I'm really not from this planet at all. I'm yes. coming from a different planet. I'm writing a book about it. Yes. I have all these memories. I ha have all this wisdom and knowledge. And you can listen to it if you like, and you can just shut down if you like. But yeah. I know that there are so many children in Norway and in Europe and in the rest of the world that need people to start coming out of their closets yeah. and not being afraid anymore of the knowledge they have. Yeah, and, and to make the children feel normal. <laughs> yes, yes, to make the children to feel normal because there are so many children with these beautiful gifts today, and they are just afraid yeah. to come out. Yes, and this and is especially in the uh, in the religious society because they, they if they turn their back uh, of their religion, sometimes even don't their parents will not even speak to them uh, or think they are possessed by the devil or anything like that. And that's okay. horrible to see. So, that's horrible. Yeah, I'm totally with that's, you there. Yes. Yeah. And I mean, you know, I, I think that many people in my life, most people in my life, they know uh, what, I, uh, what I'm here for and what I'm doing. But some don't know the whole story. No. Uh, because you kind of want to keep the peace in the family. <laughs> yes. yes. Uh, but keep the balance. People, keep the balance, yes. exactly. But... I have come to the point that if people don't start to wake up right now and start to realize that the society we are living in, in this world, and the system we are living in, is not working. No. And if you like to call it a game or not, that doesn't matter. But yeah. you have to start to wake up and yeah. realize. Yeah. And this is my way of telling people in my way that this is not normal. Yes. And if you like to call me not normal, that's okay. But yeah. This society we are living in is not normal. Yeah. And if I have to start to knock on everyone's door on Sundays <laughs> and telling them I'm going to do that, okay? Yeah. But I know that um, I've already been on international radio shows and it surprises me that no one in Norway have really... <laughs> Re reacted to that? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> felt the scent um, But Norwe that. Norwegian, uh, I think, is a little bit more open as Swedes also maybe a little bit mm -hmm. open to this kind of thinking and uh, acting and uh, being. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they kind of look at us as eccentric, I think. Yeah, yeah. So, but I was at my uh, doctor yesterday and it was, it was just a regular checkup. And he had a student with him and uh, he kind of started to tell a little bit about my life. And I have a very open relationship with my doctor. I tell him everything. Yes. And 
When he was finished, I told a little bit about myself as well to this student. And I said that most uh, psychologists would probably diagnose me as schizophrenia or whatever diagnosis they would find in their papers. Yes. But what I think, a, whatever frame you <laughs> Yeah, whatever frame you like to put me in. Yeah. But here I have a doctor that have been following me for I think 14 years or something and he's saying that you are completely healthy and a lot of the things that you are saying are actually making sense. Yes. And I think that this is why we need to start to get out because the yeah. things that we are saying, you are saying, me are saying, Michelle are saying, and many other, Hank and many, many other people out there yeah. are actually making sense. Yes. It's making much more sense than what the politicians are saying. Yeah, definitely. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. in my head it is. <laughs> yeah. And uh, <coughs> I think yeah. for the most people when they really, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> For the most people, they, when they really listen to the messages, uh, they uh, they resonate with what we say because they feel it's out of love that we talk about these things and that we really care. Uh, and I haven't met any official person in government or anywhere that really care for the person in the right way. They think they care because they fix this beautiful health care and so on. And of course, in a way they do that, but they don't understand the underlying uh, agenda in everything. Because when you're starting up a hospital, which is it's good, but then you uh, start to buy uh, very expensive equipment and then you're feeding into this wheel, as you said, we are running in all the time. Mm. the square or the wheel or whatever uh, yeah and i think it's very important for the masses now to wake up and see that everything we think and everything we do is uh, it's like in a, a in a physic for every action there is a reaction uh, so we are i think it's very important for us to understand that for every word i put out there are going to get some reaction back. And I'm so old now, so I don't care what people know, <laughs> think about me and have it done for many years. People stand in front of me and screaming uh, and I said, I love you anyway. So, so <laughs> I don't care what they think because I think this is so important to get out there. So I encourage all of humanity to talk with their hearts. And I think you're brave as a woman going out because uh, this uh, man-dominated world we're living in love to put women uh, in uh, different uh, categories as she's a hysteric, she's uh, crazy, she's schizophrenic and um, wow. yeah so yeah keep up the work anyway I love it mm. yeah 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 so well I know that we are we are heading toward a very bright future. I mean, yes. the new the new world that everyone is talking about. Yeah, that is already created. Yeah, it's already created. I yes. mean, there's been so many creators involved with the new Earth, and yes. I have already been there and visiting the new Earth. Yeah. I've been out in the forest. Yeah, it's, be it's beautiful. Yes. It's beautiful. I I was uh, coming up to this beautiful etherical wall, and I just went right through this wall and right into the new world yeah. and I could see everything around me yeah. and so it's already created it's just humanity we are waiting for yeah. to step into that world yes to step into that world yeah. so so the, we just the, have to break break out over this little bubble of uh, the matrix that we are captured yes. in yes so yeah I, I I sometimes say that we have two brain halves the one is always connected to that reality and one is connected to this brain chatter and the 3D dimension and density. And uh, I said that that program is programmed into us to keep on going and going and going and going, just not to be able to connect to the other half where we really are connected. <laughs> so uh, mm. yeah. I, I, I think I showed you this uh, 
when you were visiting me about that uh, brain uh, scientist that had a stroke. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, she really got it. She mm -hmm. really got it. And I, I can't yell bolt or something. I, I don't remember it. But I'm going to put put a link to that uh, YouTube thing she done uh, as a link under this. Uh, yeah. yeah. So I, I urge people to go and listen to her because she's making sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So she, it, she it said is, that yes. she had to have a uh, hemorrhage <laughs> before, <laughs> but uh, and I hope people don't need to get through that. But uh, yeah, it's really time for us to take step into that uh, reality that are presented and made for us. We have made a lot of of it. But we also can acknowledge that we have a lot of help from other entities, beings, societies out there in the, in the universe. So, mm -hmm. And they are here in a huge masses now. And, and just uh, almost they're tapping their fingers uh, and, and think, when are they going in there? When are they going in? <laughs> yeah, I can and hear that sometimes. Yeah. yeah, and I, I actually want to say something about that, about all these entities. Uh, yeah, please do. Outside and and also inside of the Earth, but I can, I can stay in cosmos right now, yeah. because that is kind of my table. Uh, you know, we here on Earth we have been listening to all these religions for so many, many years, and. Yeah. Um, all the religions are talking about these light beings, these angels. Yes. Angels. Yes. And angels, they are re uh, really, they are, they, are, they are for real, they are real. Yes. But they are a very ancient race. Yes. A very, very ancient race. Yes. And they are not uh, flying around <laughs> with wings and, no. uh, and being like we are kind of taught they are. Yes. But you are able to be in contact with this ancient race. It's uh, probably one of the oldest race ever. Yes. And uh, they are uh, here to help us now. Yes. And many of these uh, beings or souls from this race are actually incarnated here on Earth right now. Yes. As uh, light workers. Yes. I think many of them coming in as uh, these kind of children we talked about before now. Uh, Absolutely. That, yeah, I think so. Yes. So, uh, and I, I think that people kind of need to, and that includes me as well, because I have also been through this journey on Earth, yes. where I have been uh, uh, communicating with Archangel Michael or Archangel Raphael or whatever you call them. Yes. And these are beautiful names. Yes. Um, but what is most important is to kind of connect and tap into their energies. Yeah and start to realize that all these energies um, are aspects of uh, qualities that we as human beings can use in this process that we are going through right now. Exactly. So uh, all, the, just... all these kind of names is just labels put on it's them. It's just labels. Yeah, because uh, yes. I say in many sessions, uh, many through the names out there, oh, I'm now connecting to Archangel Michael and make it little, woo. <laughs> but I think yeah. we just tap into that kind of energy and knowledge when we connect to them. They, yes. Many of my entities that come through don't even want to put a name on themselves because we are not recognize each other with names. We re we recognize each other by by a vibration and energy. So yeah. when I'm when I'm talking to you, you're not Emma Louise. Of course you are, but you are an an energy and a feeling you're yes. giving me. So yes. that is the imprint you leave with me. Yeah, so, yeah. that's true. Yeah. And, and uh, you know, uh, another thing about angels, uh, and I, I use the word angel because it's very yeah. easy to use yes. because then people kind of know what I'm talking about. Yeah. And um, uh, people talk about that the angels and especially the archangels, as people also call, mm. as we as people call them, um, they think of archangels as uh, entities that can be everywhere uh uh, at any time, you know, yeah. and you know, everyone can be anywhere at any time because yes. 
as long as you're traveling in soul and you are connecting to that higher consciousness yes. or soul being and this oneness that we all are coming from yeah. because in soul we are in oneness yes and as soon as we tap into that consciousness we are a part of this we are conscious a conscious part of this oneness yes so and that's what uh, this religion have kind of fooled us into believing with the angels that they can be everywhere but of course they are everywhere because when you're tapping into this consciousness yeah. you can get information that yeah. these energies are sending you and they are sending you aspect of, aspects of themselves yeah to uh, but, you but in the religious you. world uh, the archangels are there for controlling you to be a good boy mm. or girl so you can go to heaven and that's a totally different area but yeah. they what they talk about they are real and they are here now and i i said we have high developed beings here uh, surrounding not only our planet the whole uh, galaxy yes they are almost uh, overseeing what's going on now and helping to balance everything as you say everything need to be in balance and so they they maybe not taking active part in what is creating now because we are the one that should do that <laughs> the humanity but, yeah but so. many many of these um, very many of these uh, ancient uh, race called or known as angels yes. here on earth yeah. they are actually incarnated on this earth right now yes so the yeah. energy of michael he's on earth right now exactly yes yes and the energy of fate is incarnated here on earth right now yeah and many many others yeah. Raphael. Yeah. so many many uh, but we do not call them that anymore because that's just a label yes and it doesn't mean that they are better than anyone else better than any other souls no. But they just have this aspect of themselves. They have this this uh, bag of wisdom yeah. and bag of knowledge that they're bringing here now yeah. to help with everything that is going to be helped with in these times. Yes. And so we are all. We are. We all have our parts, and that's why we should stop fighting each other. Yeah. Yes, because yeah. there is no one, no one here that is more important than others. Yeah, exactly. It's just that someone have more bravery than others yeah. and are speaking up louder than others. Yes. So, and that's, that's part of the plan too. Yes. The divine plan, the overall plan. Yes, exactly. It, and it's exactly the same uh, message I trying to get out there that, uh, uh, yeah, it's important to understand that we have all ability and possibility to tap into that knowledge and that understanding and that feelings, uh, or whatever you want to call it. I, I used to make a metaphor that uh, all of that is like a big swimming pool with all, uh, all information in there, all feelings in there, all understanding and everything is in there and in in the 3d reality where we are maybe able to put in a finger in but if we transcend to a higher reality and higher frequency we are able to dive into that and oh. that and that is a lovely feeling to be there I, i'm there as <laughs> often i can <laughs> because i'm oh. here in a 3d world and i have to live this life also so but I choose not to listen so much uh, to what other people do outside. I haven't had my TV on for, uh, I think it's seven months now. And when I had it on last time, I just turned it off because it was a uh, fear mongling as usual, or mm. as they like to do here in Sweden anyway, one channel showing fat people trying to get thin. And you change the channel and they're, they're cooking dinners for yes. make you fat. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So it's just silly. And I don't uh, listen to many YouTube channels either. I get the, oh, I get the information. Yeah. Are you agreeing with us? <laughs> yeah. So um, I think that's important for me because I want to stay clean. I want not to be a fact. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there she is. Hello, Bella. <laughs> Are you with us? <laughs> She's with us. <laughs> yes. 
she has a lovely soul, this dog, a lovely yeah. being. Yeah, I really felt that when you were visiting here. And you were amazed that she calmed down so much when she went went here. Also, she's just oh, I'm relaxed. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. Well, um, yeah. yeah, you can keep going. No, I, I just uh, I I think that uh, the uh, the picture of the swimming pool yeah. was really good picture. So yeah. I mean, what's there to wait for? I mean, let's have yeah. a swimming pool yeah. party. <laughs> Dive in. It's beautiful. Yes. It's warm. It's beautiful. scaring. Yeah. And um, no, I just I, I think that the worst the worst part for people today is probably getting over their fear because they kind of yeah. people today are teach um, brought up yeah. to to be um, scared into place to be scared into place and yeah. to to feel that they need to have control over everything that is happening yes and i've been through that myself and yes. i even go through things of, uh, things at the moment yeah, which yeah. is uh, giving away the control over what's going to happen in the future and everything yes. um because it's futile anyway we are never going to control that in a 3d reality no, <laughs> no. So we are it's not. Lo yes, let go of it. Yes. Yes, and I think that is also why so many people are uh, continuing uh, holding on to uh, the reality that we are living in, yeah. this game that we are living in, because this they kind of feel they can control. Yes. No one is really controlling it except no. from the one that is. No. Behind the scenes. And I realized that many times also because. When I was uh, watching TV and I saw all this commercial about uh, shampoo and I said, oh, I will never fall for that. And I went out in my bathroom and realized, oh, I got everything of it. So we, yeah. are, we are controlled. We are not in control in this density. Yeah. But it's time for us now to wake up and take control of our lives and also help the collective to have a better life to reconnect to what is meant for us to be what yeah. we really are inside yes. because we are not this many many are talk about are afraid of if we're going out on to that reality can we keep our body and i usually say well, why would you drag around 200 pounds of flesh you don't need it I, I can't <laughs> wait to get rid of this body, <laughs> so I, I will not kill myself. <laughs> but anyway, no. Uh, but you will be able to uh, co uh, totally transform your body. Yes, you know? yes, exactly. You can make because it. that is what we will be able to do. Yeah, we are the instant we, healing. Yeah, as a manifestation, we can get healing in another way, and we can get much older that than we are now. So uh, because if. In my session, I often talk about the importance or of yeah, <laughs> younger, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, in my session, I often, often uh, talk. I, I realized this the other day, night when I went through my different session, and uh, a repeating team in them are get rid of the fear, stop being afraid, because there is nothing more sinister for you in your transition to hold on to fear because you are not able to step out of this uh, density if you are afraid. It's like I said, many people will not go into a dark room. They open the door and they stand there and try to look inside. And it's a little way like this for many now. They are afraid for what they will meet. But I can say from my experience, they can not be any worse that than it is just now for us here on Earth. Mm -hmm. So step into that room and release all of your fears. Yes. Yes. That's true. Yeah. And you know, what we need to start to think of is that humanity as a race, we are actually not just here on planet Earth. We are part of this whole galaxy. Yeah. We are a galactic nation. We are yeah. part of the galactic nations. Yeah. That's and what what's I mean when I say collective. It's not only by... Yes. Uh, between us human beings it's between our star brothers and sisters and everything yes, yeah. exactly yeah. and and we are also star brothers and sisters of them so you have sure. to kind of look at it the other way i mean somewhere out, outside here someone is listening 
um, uh, listening to our planet, what's going on, and thinking that, well, well, when are they coming out of this control? Yes. And we are going to have our own star fleet. I mean, yes. we are going to be a star nation here on planet Earth. I yes. mean, we are going to be able to, or, yeah. you know, our youth are going to be able to go out in space and visit other yeah. planets and dimensions and everything. Yeah. And it's going to really be a very, uh, for many people, uh, Star Trek vision. Yeah. But even Star Trek have all this uh, dark and lightness and everything and all these wars and going on. And yes. that is just a part of the 3D dimensional yeah. thinking. Because when you are in that, that pool, that you were a swimming pool that you were talking about. Yeah. You are in that consciousness. Yes. No one will hurt each other. No, no one. Will. It's uh, what we talked about. This uh, universal law. There is one law that is above everything else, and that is: do not do harm. Mm. Do not make harm to anyone else. If you have that in your heart all the time, it will not. You will not be able to do that, and I have not the urge to do it anyway. So, mm -hmm. uh, and I say sometimes when I talk to my friends, if you really think that if you're going to a place that they are very high developed with the technology, and do you really think if they had this sinister uh, program running that they really should survive for this time? They had, they should mm -hmm. kill it society for a long time ago mm. Uh, mm. it's just we in this uh, dimension that are going on to this fear mongling and war making and all that but i know that is going to be revealed for people uh, i see now people in the united states we we have to stop invading other countries we have to stop uh, putting out this fear mongling going on but still there are a lot of this going on and um uh, I think it's important for people to think outside of that uh, that box, that mm. uh, perception of reality, because it's not it's not real. It's man-made, and we don't need it. Uh, we just need, need love and un understanding. It's the only thing. The source is pure love. Uh, and I don't talk about love between a man and a woman. It's a different kind of love. But, yes. but in a way it's the same because you respect, when you're really in love, you respect the other person for who or uh, she or his are. Uh, and you see each other with other eyes. Uh, sorry to say, we usually lose that after a while in the relation and get used to it. But in that reality, we'll have that feeling all the time. For yes. everyone. You, yes, you see the other person through that person's eyes. Yes. So we really yeah. look into their soul when yes. we are really in love. A really but, deep soul connection. Yeah. yeah. There can be some kind of love that are very egoistic. Also, yeah. uh, I'm... Uh, but that's not real love. That's, oh, a, that's oh. a need. That's a, something lacking in that person that they need to fulfill themselves and not search for the outside because you're never going to get it from outside you have it already mm. inside so you just have to reconnect to that part of yourself mm. it's like the the uh, the source source is this uh, energy or frequency yes of this what we call love. Yeah. Uh, I see it as um, a complete balance between, if you like to use the word, uh, the definition of hate and the definition of love, because it's it's a destructive force and yes. it's a creative yeah. force. And when these two forces are in complete balance, yes. they are this pure, pure creation. They are yeah. completely in they can use um, all the aspects of each other to really create for the, uh, you know, benevolent way and for the best for all. Yeah, exactly. So there, there is a, a word I use sometimes. I'm in the bliss, yes. and, the, and the bliss is not only for you; it's for everyone. It's for uh, everyone. Yeah, and when you are in that 
bliss your understanding that you are really are connected to all living energies all over this universe and for me also I understand that there are many universes that are connected into this also so yes uh, yeah lovely message from you I really like this I don't know how long we have been talking now <laughs> Maybe we should end this interview in one and a half hour. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. When you're getting involved or engaged in something like this, it's uh, the time don't exist anymore. So yeah, but maybe it will do when we can come back and you and I really are going to keep in contact. Yeah. I wanted to put that out there, uh, especially for the people in US, you are going to uh, an event in Seattle next year in the spring. Uh, can you talk a little about what that is? Yes. Um, I don't know so much about it myself yet, but I know that um, Ted Marr, that is a radio host for Out of This World 1150.com, yeah. And he has invited me to Seattle in Mars 2017. Uh, I do not know the exact dates yet, no. but there's going to be a big conference. He's holding a conference every year. Uh, yeah. Last time it was in it was the Olymp Olympia conference or something, I think. Yeah. Um, there is going to be a lot of uh, really exciting, beautiful souls there talking about uh, extraterrestrial stuff and consciousness and spirituality yes. and this new world. And uh, well, I really look forward to go. Yeah, it sounds mm. really interesting. Yeah, yeah. if I had the possibility, I would go also. But I, well, I'm maybe not... maybe it will be a possibility. Yeah, who knows? It will be. Every... I have I have a feeling it will be. You see, yeah. everything so... that is meant to happen is going to happen. So yes, exactly. Yeah, my so, my um... grandfather always said, if uh, if God wants me to to go anyway, he will buy the ticket. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So. Then, then, then I have to be God then. <laughs> yes. Yes. And you are. <laughs> yes, we are. We all are. Yeah. But I don't. I don't like the name God. No, it's I don't just... like it either. We but are going to go back to our own powers now. So. Yeah, we are going to reconnect to that. Yes, and, and that's a lovely feeling. That's a lovely feeling, and believe me, the the. Um, the entities that are st uh, standing behind this game that they have created, this matrix. Yes. They are really scratching their head right now. Yes, they because are. Because they know what's going on. Yes. And they do not have so much power anymore. No. They still have some, but yeah. they are looking every day yeah. that this is crumbling uh -huh. more and more around them. Yeah. So They're almost getting desperate shoo! now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> We can say that. Shoo! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, you know, the real gods with a big G are waking up now. Yes. And not the fake ones. Yeah, exactly. Not the man made ones. Not um, the man made ones. Okay, Absolutely. my dear, lovely friend. Uh, I want to thank you for this interview. And I hope it's <laughs> going to resonate with many people because you're a very knowledgeable being and a lovely being. And I really love you from my heart. And um, yeah, to all you out there, listen to this lovely being's messages and hope you get something out from that. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Lasse. Thank you. <laughs>